Hello, my collective. Welcome to Pound Star Oracle. Well, I'm Pam. Nice to meet you all. Um, I hope I can give y'all a clear tarot message today. I let spirit guide me to uh, a message, so uh, let's get into it. This is for anybody, I guess, that clicks on it. You'll find, you might find some message in here, some message to help you today, okay? I appreciate y'all. Let me, let me do some oracle messages first. Let me do some oracle messages. Maybe there's an evil queen around. There's some evil queen around. Collective, that's what I saw. But we'll see what it says. What is it that me and my collective needs to be aware of today? And hit subscribe if you don't. If you feel my vibe, hit subscribe. Oh, teacher, you're sharing your knowledge. You're sharing your knowledge. You're helping others at the moment. Um, with things, I'm not gonna put it up there because I got my blue light on to help y'all see. Okay. All right, and then it says grudge, bury, don't carry. Teacher, it's saying don't share your knowledge, but uh, don't carry a grudge with others that come over here and smack you around, try to smack you around these younger people, you know. Uh, they try to take your knowledge back, but don't let it bo bother you. And then we have stars. You can manifest your every wish. See, you're manifesting your every wish at the moment, collective. A star can't carry a grudge, you understand? And then lighthouse, don't doubt your worth. I am always enough. So know that um, teacher, you're somebody that teaches others to bury their grudges and you're manifesting your every wish at the moment. Don't doubt your worth. It's all working. Number five and 20 came out, 520. And then we got improvision and you just make things up. You're like this old dancing party cat. You're the party cat clown. You're the party cat clown. You just do something new every day and people appreciate it. Then it says innocence. You look through with fresh eyes like a new baby kitten. That's what you do. You, you look through with fresh eyes. Well, let me put this up here. And then under teacher, wisdom. Oh, wisdom. You let your light shine. You let others see all your cat knowledge. Ooh. You know, that's filiomancy, the studying of cats. I have a, I made that card. I got a card I made that I'm the first one, first person that ever actually taught of things like this that, you know, you can use to manifest in your life. So, you know, a lot of people get mad. And then it says castle. It's time for healing, not war. See, it's your castle. You're not warring. You're, you're not... You're not carrying a grudge, you know. You, you buried your grudge. You're not worried about it. <laughs> Even if your castle fell, it's all right. We're not, we're not trying to war with others. We're not trying to do that. And the stars guided you to take a risk and take a chance on yourself. Look, space cat, space cat. Hang on, let me change my light back. <sighs> Hang on, I'll change it back. Hang on, I don't know how long it'll take. It's still going through a bunch. Wait just a second. Sorry, I went through all that mess and didn't even have to. <laughs> Sorry, collective, I haven't used that in a long time. I hadn't actually used my light because it'll go off sometimes. Pay attention if my light goes off to what I was saying. Okay, and then it came out sword. Make the change. Oh, maybe you're changing your hair and you're cutting it off. But you don't doubt your worth and you, you did make your changes. You took this risk. You took this risk on yourself. 
And, and that's great. That's great. You you can just make things up as you go. You know, uh, a lot of people has to do that. Then we have tolerance, sitting with it. Yeah, you have to sit with things that you do and think about it. And you got to look through with different eyes. Okay, somebody that might have been making up something on you, they're they're seeing now with different eyes that you're very tolerant and. You, you you can sit with people that's carried a grudge with you. You, you you're fine. You you carried it. You 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 can carry it and you buried it. You understand? You're you're not carrying it and bringing it up again. That's what it's talking about. And then universe, we're all just stardust. See, we're all one in the universe in all of the greater plan. I like it, Clara. Don't you collective? So uh, so right now. There's a lot of people in the universe seeing things differently. And teacher, you're helping these people to uh, to let their light shine and, and not have war. Put, take the war out of your heart if you want to be a star. That's the only way. You got to take the risk of, of not doubting your worth and make these changes that's needed. And that means on the inside of you. And then the numbers that pulled out on the bottom was 30 and 7. So 5, 20, 30, and 7. That was the numbers. Okay. Hang on. Let me find us another deck to use. Spirit guides, which one is it that my collective wants to see? Can you help me fill out... Where do these cards go? Okie dokie, spirit said, just do it, baby, like you do. Do it like you do and hit subscribe to help me get my knowledge around. Peace and I love you guys. And I appreciate each and every one of you. About two years ago, I chopped off all my hair. Like this girl right here who's looking in the mirror, chopping off her hair. I did that two years ago. And look how long my hair is. Huh? I did. I got so tired of it. I chopped it off to my... I had it cut to my chin. Okay, teacher. The wise woman of Wonderland. This is about keeping your integrity intact. And learning how to compromise with your partner. That's what the moral of this story is that I'm teaching over here. Keeping your integrity intact and compromising with people. Okay. And then we have the Metal King. And this, uh, this is about discipline, armor, boundaries. You got to set your boundaries with people and stop, you know, and, and uh, don't carry a grudge. But I did set my boundaries up with people. And, uh. I, I think I'm pretty disciplined. I don't care what anybody else says. What about stars? I love you, universe and divine and spirit guides. The shadow queen, acquiring knowledge, insecurity, manipulation. So, look at her light. See? So, we all have a shadow side. So, um... So there's some shadow queen around, and this is the dark high priestess. This is a dark empath. Do you see the dark empath with, she's got her face covered, but she's got a light in her hand. Um, there's a star around me, somebody who got a way lot of more people than I do on my channel, and they're, uh, they're trying to manipulate my wishes. Like, my wish is to get around on YouTube, and they're manipulating it, and you know what? It's because you placed a boundary with this person and you unmask them. You unmask this person. And I've unmasked a few of these characters before. But I know I'm enough and I'm not doubting my worth. And then we got the Dragon's Duel. This is about inner conflict, morality, a conscious, a choice. So you got to balance your masculine and feminine out. You, you might be dueling on the inside of your body, uh... You, you might have had a lot of inner conflict and turmoil and you was unraveling all this shit that was on the inside of you, you know? 
So don't doubt your worth or your morals. Make the correct choice. That you're making a conscious choice, okay? It's, it's been hard for you to make that conscious choice because you've been hung up on something for too long on the inside of you and you need to let it out. And then it says um, somebody uh, that might be just making up something about you. I think it's a star that is trying to make you doubt that you're worthy of this. And, and they're going around making up shit on you. Now they are now they're might be changing their mind, wishing they hadn't have done that. It's a clown. Whoever that clown right there is, 1033. But the hungry ghost is about obsessions, scarcity, consciousness, attachment. So, um... So maybe you're packing around uh, worried about if you have enough money or something. Um, you've got to let that attachment go, okay? you got to let that attachment go. Uh, somebody might be obsessively obsessively uh, watching you at the moment. That's what I think it's saying. And then it said, innocence, look through fresh eyes, and then the cosmos came out. This is about your creativity and vastness you got a vast amount of knowledge on the inside of you me and you do collective and uh you're you're creating the life you want you're creating it you gotta be disciplined and set these boundaries and don't compromise your integrity and then we have the hawk prince this is about spirit communication you're paying attention you're, you're paying attention to spirit when they speak to you. Number 11, looky there. And I did have a little hawk come around, and I love that little hawk. I need to show you all. And then we have the desert prince, survival, false promises. That's a wand energy there. See a wand energy? Um... Somebody made a... Somebody's paying attention, uh... that spirit actually communicates to you at the moment. They feel like they've been lied to. Number 19 is that right there. And then we have the eyes of beauty. This is positive expectations, clarity. Number 25, that's my birthday, the eyes of beauty. So, I mean, you made that change to um, to positively expect that, the ch I mean, no, it went right here. Risk, you took a chance, you took a chance on yourself and you're expecting uh, that all these positive changes, you, you prove it to people. You, you're gaining clarity and truth. You might be planning uh, at the moment. You're, you're planning, you're planning your life out. You're making that change. You're, that's what you're doing at the moment, maybe. You might be hiding this or something, but you know. The Horse King. This is about assistance and control. Number 42. Somebody, um, somebody wants to assist you. But they're 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 trying to tell you you got to change and get out of this letting this person control you maybe, or they want to assist you in making this change. And then it said the Rainbow Prince, tolerance, sitting with it, compensation, perseverance. You get ready to be compensated for all your good deeds. That's why the Rainbow Prince came out. This is your Native American lineage is coming out. I seen two right now Native American Indian cards came out. Uh, this is about you you persevering and sitting with um, you're gonna be sitting with money because you kept persevering in your journey. Uh, you put you took control of your life and, and your changes. You took control of that. You you said I'm not going back. I'm not going back. And, and then it says, two of them came out, and it says, the winged wise ones. This is angelic help and miraculous aid, number 34. That's pretty, ain't it, collective? 
So the universe says we're all stardust. We're giving you angelic help. See how my readings are connected. See how that went together. The universe said these angels are helping you. They've, they've miraculously aided in your life and helping to change it around. And they did mine. And then we have the dream walker. This is about dreams, the collective good, and illusions. So you can speak to others about illusions, and and maybe you get uh, direct messages downloaded at night, and you speak about it on your channel the next morning. Um, I think it's saying you need to pay attention. The angels at night, that's why cosmos come up far above this universe. Um, the angels is bringing you vast creative abilities at night time. They're aiding you in your dreams that you're going to be a person. Uh, you're going to be a star uh, for the whole collective good. That's what it's saying. That's exactly what it's saying. It says uh, you're paying attention uh, to these false promises that somebody made to you. They're, they're expecting uh, assistance, but this person uh, is under Satan's control, and you're going to get compensated because you persevered and you got away from that person. The angels helped you. They they, they, they led you away from people you, you were supposed to leave. And up here, it's saying uh, your integrity almost got compromised. You had to discipline yourself and, and set boundaries. With this, um, with whoever this person is that you just need to set boundaries with, you're acquiring knowledge, and and uh, you know that that person was manipulating you, and that their body is they're they're in inner conflict with herself because of their because of their morality. They've done something to you, and, and they made the conscious choice to not fucking tell you. They're obsessively watching you. But whoever this person is, they're, they're a scarcity mindset. They got an attachment, a dark attachment to them because uh, they're not going inside. They're insecure because they're insecure, whoever that is. They're insecure, and I think that they might be stealing my creativeness because I know that somebody did come over here and do something to my channel. And then on the bottom, it says the web weaver synchronicity. Divine intelligence, cause and effect. Look how beautiful that is. Number four. So, uh, you're weaving your own web, huh? You're receiving all these uh, downloads and, and numbers, and it's divine intelligence. That's what cause and effect is. And then we have the prison waif underneath self-sabotage poverty consciousness. You got to get out of that. I'm never going to be enough and doubting your worth. You're worthy of this. You're worthy of it. And I'm worthy of it. And and I claim my worthiness. You're, you're transforming. Use your intuition. Your patience is paying off. Your patience is paying off. Okay, Swan Queen. Because you, you saw the big picture and you got angelic help. See, you got angelic help from your Indian lineage. Hey, y'all, uh, hey, y'all, uh, what you see? Hey, y'all, uh, hey, y'all. Uh. I thank you. Hey, y'all, uh, hey, y'all. Uh. That's what they said. Hey, y'all. Uh. All right, now let's see uh, what else it wants to say to us. Maybe I need to uh, do us a tarot. If I can find me a tarot deck in here. Quick. I'm going to use this little bitty uh, deck. I've got a deck, D-E-C-K. I'm a southern talk, and it might say that I'm cussing on down below if you have to read what i'm saying i'm not saying a curse word i was saying deck 
D-E-C-K, okay? So then you'll know what I'm always saying because I noticed them stupid things. If you go in there and look at what I'm saying, like, and it spells it out to you, it always says crazy stuff. So know that it says crazy stuff that I'm not saying a lot. <laughs> All right, so what does this teacher with all her wisdom need to know? <clears throat> you need to know Gloxenia. This is love at first sight. You're a proud spirit. When I saw you, I fell in love, and you smiled because you knew. That's by William Shakespeare. Oh, did you hear that? So so somebody... Uh, when they smiled at you, they, they knew they loved you and they wanted you, teacher. It says, forget me not, eternal memories. The best things in life are the people you've loved, the places you've seen, and the memories you've made along the way. And that's by unknown. So somebody, somebody can't forget you. Somebody can't forget you, collective. They got their eyes on you now and nobody else. And then we've got crocus. This is about cheerfulness. It is spring again. The earth is like a child that knows poems by heart. So, so in the springtime, this person is going to try to um, come around you, I think, for what it's saying. Can we have a tarot card, please, spirit? And then we got garden heliotrope and this is about devotion and dreams fulfilled the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams eleanor roosevelt see you believe in your dreams and then we got uh wheel of fortune so uh and then underneath that that was that shadow side see it you use you had to uh, let go of them burdens and stop carrying them because, you know, it was a karmic cycle. It was a karmic lesson. And uh, and you understood that. So, um, whoever this person is that is insecure around you, they're manipulating you. They're getting ready to receive karma. Whoever this other star, dark empath is, dark empath, I'm going to label is this is a dark empath i can feel it. it's a dark empath it is and then we got hydrangea thankfulness and understanding before we can forgive one another we have to understand one another and then and then it came out five of wands this is competition i told you i told you so it's dark empath it's like um, they're teaching you a karmic lesson that you got to be thankful for their understanding also before they can forgive you. Okay, I'm thankful and I understand that I forgive you for um, for worrying about what I do and and for you, uh, whatever it is I did to you, Dark Empath, I'm sorry all because you're mad because I'm... I'm I'm somebody new. Well, you got to learn to get over it. I'm an Aquarius. I hate to tell you. You just got to get over it because I'm not going anywhere. I'm in there. I'm in there for the long haul. I'm in there like swimwear, just like that saying that I made up. Just like that saying that I made up. Oh, and then we got Knight of uh, Wands right here. Knight of Wands. So, uh, Somebody wants to uh, come feist. And when you see that Knight of Wands, that's that young, childish fighting it. That's why Five of Wands pulled out the side of it. You, ha you had to get off that down wheel and be thankful for and understand why you 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 kept doing the same shit over and over. You would Because you was running back saying things to this person. Uh, and and uh, they was going around telling, telling shit on you. And then we got two of wands. They might be doing their sword fights. Do you get what I'm saying? Look, 24-24. So in the shadows that what you don't know of, these hungry ghosts, they're 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 in that scarcity mindset and that poverty consciousness, and, and uh they're mad that you're not paying this 
paying them any mind. This can be somebody online that you don't even fucking know and they're mad because you like blocked and so they couldn't say something to you again, huh? They was trying to keep that fight energy around. No, uh -uh. Beauty and happiness, hibiscus. A thing of beauty is a joy forever. So, see, uh, see, you're beautiful and, and uh, they, these people, all they knew how to do is go around and, and, and just make up shit about you. So, be thankful that God brought you away from that. I'm thankful for that karmic lesson. I claim that. I, I got away from stupid things. I claim I, I'm thankful for it. I'm thankful for all my lessons that I learned. Oh, sweet William. Gallantry. Grant me a single smile. Sweet William, smile has form and aspect bright, like that sweet flower that yields great Jove delight. That's by Abraham Cawley. So these people delighted in watching every day. These people delighted in watching it every day to see if you was going to stop doing this practice. Okay, they've been watching every day. They've been sharing your knowledge all around. And, 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 and But your channel ain't getting around. But they're stealing your knowledge and they're taking it over to their platform. They're getting ready to receive karma. Because they didn't understand that you actually was devoted and fulfilled. And they went around lying and saying that you was with a karmic. We all have karmic lessons that we need to learn. But it doesn't have to be of our partner. But yeah, most time, it doesn't matter. Divine, masculine... No, or not so divine last one. It don't matter which fuck of what it is. You're all going to always receive karma. Even if you're from the stars above. 26, 26. Now, believe me or not, but I'm telling the truth. No, no, no relationship is going to be hunky-dory. Trust me. So, when you get mad at mine, I don't give a fuck. Because yours is probably worse than mine. Okay? And I love y'all. I'm trying to help us and teach us and guide us. I've been immersed 22 years. Two, two. I live at two, two. Ha, ha. So, see, listen to some sacred knowledge over here and, and, uh, and understand when I tell my story, I'm true about it. You got to go all the way back. Okay, the Hawk Princess. Your spirit, uh, you're, you're communicating and you're letting your light shine. And God and divine, and they love you and they appreciate you. Okay, and then we got six of coins. Yeah, see, you give and receive equally. You know how to do that. You're balanced. The divine said, pay attention. We're communicating to you that you're balanced. We brought balance. And, you, and, that's, and we brought this wisdom. And I thank you. I thank you, angels and spirit guides. I love you and I appreciate you. And then morning glory came out. And this is about affection and determination. You're determined. The morning glory, which blooms for a day, differs not at heart from the giant pine that lives for a thousand years. That's by Alan Watts. So what it's saying is, your wisdom is different, and that's okay. But all I know is, you bloom every day, and you you're just as great as somebody that's been better than that's been better than you, and they got over a thousand or three hundred thousand. You're just as good as them, and you're determined to get what you're going after. And my, what I'm going after is, uh, I'm I'm trying to work for YouTube. Duh. I need to get around and please hit subscribe. Thank you. And then we got two of cups right here. You know, um, this is about your healing in your healing in your castle at the moment. You're not making war. You know all about uh you can speak about, you know, false promises and shit like that. You can speak about it, but but you're you actually have a spiritual connection. You actually you know spiritual. Uh, you, you that might be your marriage. You know that's a spiritual connection. You're 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 married from the divine and, and you believe in that. And you're. But it could be saying somebody out here is telling a lie, and uh, they're not wanting to heal. They're not wanting to heal because maybe uh, this person, they they denied you. They denied you your love. So that's for one of you all. I don't know. But then we got trumpet genation, and this is power and healing to get what you love. You first have to be patient with what you have. Boy, ain't that true. See, I'm patient with what I have, and I love what I have. 
And, and I know that I'm going to receive more power and healing powers because the divine keeps giving it to me every day. And to you, my good collective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we got, then we got two of swords. You had to, uh, you're taking a chance and you're stop being stuck. You took a risk on yourself. You took a chance on yourself. You said, I'm not going to be stuck anymore. I'm moving away from that person that didn't want nothing to do with me. I'm not trying to be in war with none of them. I love myself and I, I positively expect that I'm going, I, that I gained clarity and you did. And Lily came out. Majesty and virtue. The lily is the emblem of rare, of many virtues, good and rare. That's the unknown. So, uh, it could be saying that lily took a chance to, uh, make, to make, to make your channel be stuck. That lily took a chance for your channel to be stuck. And, uh, I just gave someone clarity right here. Me and somebody else that both knows about Lily Lillian. Huh? <laughs> Did you hear that? So you need to help me, other girl that knows Lillian. So you need to help me because it's telling something about her right here in a minute. Oh, and then we got Ke uh, Knight of Swords. Face, and then it, Knight of Swords, and it's a horse. And a horse came out right here with Horse King. Make that change to, um... Some, somebody's making that change to swiftly come towards you. They're, they're going to stop being under that feeling of under control. They're going to stop being that feeling of under control. And then we got Knight of Pentacles. Somebody's been wanting to come fast towards you, but they're the slowest moving SOB around. That's what it just said. <laughs> oh, ain't that funny, Collective? But we have a, a Knight of Cups. They're wanting to bring you an offer. They want to apologize and give you some love. They've been sitting with uh, things that things that was on the inside of them that maybe they had did to you. They've been sitting with it, and they see that you you're still persevering, and they might be feeling guilty. Now they want to offer you an opportunity or something. And then we got six of cups. You know, Six of Cups, that's about, um, what the hell is Six of Cups? Hell, I was trying to remember you all. That's about, uh, they're wanting to bring, I think that they're persevering, they're wanting to come bring their love to you. They've been sitting with this. They know that, um... They're wanting to build with you. I think that's what it's saying. They see you as a empath. I mean, yeah, a queen of cups. You're somebody who's who's very empathic, and and they they know that you finally become balanced in your situation. Okay, and and the angels are helping you, and you're getting downloads and guidance, and you need to pay attention to your dreams. Somebody's needing to pay attention their dreams you might be dreaming of gladolias or something or living in a past life like royalty and uh this is about strength of character and moral integrity character cannot be developed in ease and quiet only through experiences of trials and sufferings can the soul be strengthened vision cleared ambition inspired and success achieved that's by helen keller boy ain't that true i've been so through so much shit and i've told you all and and I do help the collective good because I speak to y'all about it. And, and it helps strengthen your character when you do that. I'm telling you, okay, collective? Now I'm telling y'all. So hang on, let me see something. Somebody, when you start at first sharing your knowledge with them, whatever it is, collective, they fell in love with you at first sight. They can never forget you. They feel like a child every time they get around you. They wrote a poem for you, and it's um, they feel fulfilled with you. They know that you, uh, you and them had to, you had a karmic lesson to learn, and 
you're thankful for the understanding that you got from that uh, karmic lesson that needed to learn. Why you met that person? Why did you meet that person? What did it make you understand? That's what you're needing to figure out. And what it made you understand is you're thankful for understanding that all it kept doing is bringing fights into your relationship because every time you'd say something, 500 would go around talking and telling or, or these two men, they would get together and chit chat, chitty chat chat. And they might roll around and who knows what they do? Who knows what they do? They're just hungry for love, whoever it is. Hungry for giving you some dick. And uh, you're beautiful and happy and and um, and uh, you're bright. You're very bright, and you see things with fresh eyes. You're not worried about that person anymore. You you let your light shine, and you talked about this, and it's brought balance to your life um, by talking about it. And uh, you're determined every morning to speak on this. And you speak about you and your love, your spiritual love uh, from up above. And you, there's power in, in your healing at the moment you, with you and your person because you're all patient. You're all not having war at your life, at your castle anymore because you left these people like I did. I left my job where all these people was doing this, and I went and run my mouth to my friend. Yeah, uh huh. And um, you're not, you're not stuck anymore. You took a chance on yourself, and this is about your virtues is good. And somebody they want to come back and try to stir up some shit. They want to talk to you again. Uh, they're trying to make you change, but. But, you know, that person's sitting over, and they're slowly, they're, they, you, they might be slowly changing, but I just think that they're just wanting to apologize because they know they went around telling it to, to, to six different people or more. They went around telling it to six or more people, and, um, and you intuitively knew this, and that's why you left that situation. Like, every time they got around, they was blabbing to uh, other people about it, you understand? And you intuitively got out of this whole mess. And that's how your uh, your character got strengthened and your morals or integrity are still intact because you suffered. These people made you suffer and you've suffered in your life. And that's why I'm going to have a victory, me and you, collective. We're going to have a victory. Me and my husband, me and my emperor, we're having a victory and we're in love. Oh, wow. And then we have Page of Cups. He wants to just play with me and be young forever. And you, that's what they want to do to you, collective, whoever it is. You're all getting ready to gain some prosperity and he's going to give you some more love. He's going to give you the most love you'll ever see. He might be getting ready to uh, pet you. He wants to pet you, collective. That's what it is. He wants to pet you. Uh, he wants to pet me and you collective. Not my husband pet you all, but whoever it is that you all love, they want to pet you, okay, collective? Uh, that's funny, ain't it, collective? I think so, too. Let me see what these says. I ain't did them in a while. We not did these in a while. I got two decks mixed together. Oh, yeah, please uh, like, subscribe, and share. And you can leave me a comment, and I appreciate it. And I thank you very much. And Spirit appreciates you. And you're understanding the great mysteries of life. This is about the song of the wild. Maybe you're going outside and just listening to the songs of the universe. Um, maybe you listen to people's different tales every day of things they've had to go through and all the great mysteries they've learned. Spirit of air. You need to go outside today and sing in the air. Are you listening? That's what somebody's need to do. Go outside and get you some fresh air today. That's what elephant spirit says. Elephant spirit said you better learn from the past. You're learning from the past. Okay. Number 25, I'm an elephant too. I never knew that. Oh, thank you for that spirit. That's my birthday, 25. <laughs> oh, and then we got, then we got two and 21. We got antelope spirit. Life is speeding up. See, life is speeding up for me and you at the moment, collective. Uh, we got dove spirit, 21. Be peace. See, you're peaceful. You're like this peaceful, beautiful dove. So maybe you see 
252 a lot or 221 or 122 a lot. Okay. And then on the bottom we got Crow Spirit. You're co-creating with Spirit. That's what you're doing. Number 17. Oh, the star. That's me too. Look at her. You're co-creating with Spirit. I love you, Spirit. You're so funny. I'm Aquarius. That's why I said that. Oh, Lodi. Oh, and then we got Koi Fish Spirit. There is always enough. See, there's always enough to go around. This means uh, wealth when you see fish like that, okay? And it could be you've, you've understood some mysteries about, you know, Jesus. You know, Jesus, fish, Pisces. Uh, you've learned something. And then Dolphin Spirit 20. This and that are true. So this and that and all is true. You're figuring out out in the wild, ain't you? Yeah, uh-huh. Ooh, and then we got two come out. Oh, ancestor, spirit of the air. Your ancestors is telling you, come outside in the air. Follow the birds. Follow the signs. Maybe you go around to these different great ancient places and you're being guided to these places at the moment. Yeah, and Alpha Spirit, you is learning from the past. You know, because you're a medicine woman or a medicine man back when you was an Indian. Hey, uh, hey, uh, or if you are now. Hey, uh, hey, uh. Maybe you help people's souls is all that it's saying. Learn from their past mistakes. Oh, and we got rabbit spirit. Now is a lucky time. Ooh, life is speeding up and now is a lucky time for me and you collect a rabbit spirit. Maybe you're a rabbit. Maybe your um, spirit... Like your Chinese animal is a is a rabbit. That's funny for me because I'm a I hey, listen. I'm a rooster and my husband's a rabbit. Get it? We're we're rabbit roosters. <laughs> That's funny. Does spirit? Oh, I love spirit. How hey, you say things? And then we got wounded healer. Wounded healer. So let's talk about you know Chiron. The wounded healer, you know, this you it brought peace into your life uh, to talk about all these wounds. That's what it's talking about. You healed all your wounds, and you started. This is how you healed your wounds by co-creating with spirit. And spirit said, "Don't doubt what I, what me and you made together, because we made a covenant, and we made a pact." And skunk spirit come out, and you know your worth. And didn't it say it on the first of the cards? You do know your worth. There's twice verifying at 54. And I told y'all the other day that these damn darn skunks had sprayed Bella, my big old bulldog, over twice in a week. So those skunks was trying to tell you that to know you're, that you're worthy of this, that spirit's bringing you. That stinky smell and these crows that come by your house every day. And if you see deer around your house and everything, well... We're warning you that things is going to get hectic in your life. You're, you're, you're always going to be enough. You're always going to have enough. You're always going to have enough. And, and, and you realize that that's true. And I love you, God. And I know what it's saying. And, and I appreciate you. And your ancestors is helping you. And, and, and you bring out healing to all. And this is a lucky time for you, wounded healer. Because you know your worth. And, and, you're, and you trust in divine detours and you got a medicine bag right here look <laughs> look it says coyote spirit and it said trust in divine detours so maybe you're hearing coyotes at your house a lot at night i do all the time uh this time of year i always hear them in medicine bag medicine woman medicine man there you got your you're being detoured trust you're being detoured to to bring to to travel with your medicine bag, these ancestors. That's what's saying. Otter spirit, you are never alone. You're never alone. So you got detoured and you sat down to do a practice like me, maybe, and and maybe you actually are a shaman and you go around and cleanse people's houses. That's good. I I I could do that. I know. And and you're never alone. And if if you see a white buffalo, that's the rarest thing that you'll ever see is a white buffalo. That's like one in a lot. It's it like one in a billion to get a white buffalo. So uh, you're never alone. That's why that white buffalo came out to let you know that, that otter spirit. 
And you need to be generous of spirit. And be playful. Just be playful like a little bitty sandpiper. And get up, clear out the, clear out all your clutter and, and surrender. That's what it was saying for somebody out here collective. I already surrendered to the vine. So let me get you a lucky card. Let me get you a lucky card here, collective. Lucky card for collective. We got a money frog, we got a money frog, we're gonna be that down old lucky dog, money frog. The Jin Chan, more commonly known as the money frog, or sometimes toad, brings good luck to your home. The fog was the companion of, the frog was the companion of Lu Hishan, a Zen, an immortal. There are many myths about them, including that whenever... Leo Haushan dangled a string of coins. The frog would come running. The frog also had the power to spit out gold coins. The money frog therefore symbolizes wealth and prosperity. It's said to appear near homes or businesses that are about to receive positive. Oh, thank you, spirit. I actually have a toad frog that comes to my house. If you're a business owner, keep a model of a frog next to the till. It won't do any harm to have one at home as well. So get you a lucky toad. Oh, hang on. Let's show me my quickness. Wait, wait, quick. Do I'm bringing it? You're all going to love my toad, bro. What do you see, Quicker? I had him hanging up in there in my bathroom. <laughs> I had him hanging up in my bathroom. Look at me. Look at him. Look at him. His britches has got dust on him, but don't pay no mind. Look at him. Look at my toad. Do you love my toad, huh? And he used to have a little pocket watch right here. <laughs> but uh, I've had this old thing for a long time. My friend gave it to me. And so here's our money toad. And he's going to bring us some money, see? For all of us ones that's trying to do the right thing, he's bringing it to us, okay? Okay, collective. Wait a minute, and I'll tell you when it'll be. And then on the bottom, we have flock of birds. And birds are believed to be the connection between heaven and earth. Owing to the numbers that flock together, they're regarded as a symbol of abundance and progress. Birds are said to fly in flocks to protect themselves from predators. As the old saying goes, there's safety in numbers. If they appear in your dreams, good luck is on its way to you. Oh, wow, I love that you said that. Grab your binoculars and get out to do some bird watching. And I do this every day. You know how many birds has done hit my sliding glass door this morning? Guess three. Three birds has done hit them. And I, I have to get out here and feed my flocks of birds or they'll die. I take care of them in the winter. And that's why they come over and hit the door. They'll come hit the door about knocking herself out for me to give them some food collective. I'm not lying to you. I'm telling you the truth. All right, let me see when uh, we might be getting lucky collective. And I hope y'all liked that reading. I don't know if it did any good, but you can let me know. I hope it did. I hope it helped somebody out here. Pisces 12. You have to find your center. So in 12 weeks or 12 months or in Pisces season coming up here soon, that's when um, maybe luck will be changing for us. And somebody out here, it'll be Saturday. Search for joy, stay agile. So so maybe, on, uh, maybe this Saturday, somebody's going to uh, receive some wealth and maybe during pisces season somebody's going to receive some wealth and then tours come out and that is about wealth create a structure so so somebody needs to listen to that two weeks or two months uh 12 weeks or 12 months or saturday that's what it's saying out here it could be saying a pisces is coming to see a Taurus or a Taurus is going to see a Pisces and it's going to be on a Saturday. I don't know. That might be when Valentine's Day is. Who never know? I don't never know, Collective. I don't look at my, I don't look at my, um, 
calendar when I'm doing this, but somebody might know. I don't know. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Really sad. Yeah. Hey for it, spirit said, hey for it. You find pleasure co-creating with the world. I do in the universe. I do. Thank you for that, spirit. We thank you for that. Oh, sovereignty, queen of the moon. This is about... I really don't know what it's about. 41, I think it's about bringing balance. Uh, you're working with yourself and, and helping others at the moment. This is about the collective consciousness, I think. Oh, and it said drum, dream and journey. This is your, this is your single journey, okay? This is your, your, you're doing your journey at the moment. You might be, you might use a drum like, dun, 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 dun. somebody needs to get a drum because all them um, Indian things came out. The masculine, hey, uh, hey, uh, masculine hears you. He's in his dream, this divine masculine at nighttime, that's what it's saying. Look, at nighttime, he, he journeys over to you through your dreams. That's what he's astral traveling to talk to you in your dreams at night. If you're 41, if you're 41 and your masculine might be, uh, or you might be 42 and your masculine's getting ready to be 41 or something, but you can switch it around, whichever way it is. I don't know. But ain't that something, Buttercup? I never knew. Oh, but you know, you're a high priestess. You, you, you're a high priestess and you saw things that was going to come happen before they ever did. You're blossoming, blossoming under the flower moon. 33, the Sinning Masters are helping you and me. Oh, the Sinning Masters. Oh, and they're helping Divine Masculine to blossom. That's what it is. He, uh, uh, you know, you got to use your discernment and, and uh, use your common sense. That's what you, that's what it means to navigate through all this darkness. You know how to do that. And that's what he's doing at the moment. And he's a, he might be an earth guardian. Stay rooted and grounded. Maybe he's an earth sign and he helps you to stay grounded and rooted. I love that spirit. My masculine is. I love you, my masculine. And then we got realization. The waxing crescent first moon. You're realizing something here soon enough. You're realizing you already, you're the key to that damn door. That's what it's saying. Not a girl for it. Earth guardians are trying to tell you. And then we got magic guardian. Unlock the magic within. See, you unlocked your magical powers inside you collective. And this is your queendom. This is your damn queendom. You know, it's what you built. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I love y'all collective, whoever you are. You got to stay focused during this waxing Gibeous moon and during all times. Just stay focused. Number 14. Remember, while God said Valentine's Day, so right here is 41-14, or you might be seeing 14-41 a lot. And then here we got number two. This is about, this is during a new moon. There's a, a, a new beginning taking place for somebody out here, Divine Masculine. That's when he's coming. That's when his... Oh, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, and that's what it is. There's a new beginning happening, and what did it say? Nourishment, blossoming, and nourishment. Like spirit is feeding your soul at the moment. The moon cycles and everything is help is giving you nourishment. You're blossoming. You're, you're, you're fruitful. You're, you're, you're good. Don't worry, collective mirror guardian. Take time to reflect. You reflect out to others what what they really think that's what that's what us readers do to understand and when you got a true divine masculine and divine feminine you all will always mirror each other what about earth guardian and then we got arrows surround yourself with protective energy this earth guardian is surrounding you there a bird hit the window did you hear it it just hit hit and that makes four times a day or five <laughs> and and you and he's realizing that you were that you had to assess this situation a different way. You were him one. He's assessing this 
situation a different way. Number nine. Oh, looky there. Number nine. That's my life type number. First quarter moon. So. So, High Priestess, you're unlocking the magic. Yeah. You're on your dream journey. You're staying focused. And this Divine Masculine is um, going through a new beginning of blossoming into who he's supposed to be. And he's getting nourishment at the moment. You're feeding his soul. He, He's using discernment. Um, he knows that you, you and he'll mirror each other. And you're all staying rooted and grounded and focused. You're, you're staying focused and you're protected. You're protected and you're realizing and assessing this situation correctly. Oh, and look, I love spirit. Do y'all love spirit God as much as I do? So you got a guardian angel and you are not alone. You're never alone. And during a blue moon, something unexpected is going to happen. Look, something unexpected. Maybe you're all coming together. 43. Huh? The unexpected peace. Peace prevails. That's what's going to happen. Peace prevails, collect. Ain't that something? 55, 55. A change of peace. Unexpected peace has came over your life and my life. It has, collective. These and all them, mess, them feathers I was getting. I thank you, God. Because you was warning me that look at all the peace that has came into my life. You start at seeing from a higher perspective and you start at basking in the joy and light side. And you was being brave and honest and, and that's that's you you took action to change and God appreciates you for that and I do too collective. And I love y'all collective and I hope that you got something out of this today. Please like, subscribe, and share my videos. I'm gonna get off here. And I thank y'all very much and I love you guys. Peace.